Okay, so we've deleted all of the dummy, dummy data and we're ready to move forward, try and get Salesforce to work for our businesses. Key to that is going to be populating with information. Uh, if you're starting from scratch and you haven't used a CRM or you haven't been tracking information in Excel before, that's likely going to make things even easier. But a lot of the same principles will apply. I'll cover both uh, scenarios here. If you're using Excel to track your CRM processes and you've got a couple of spreadsheets, I'll show you how to import those. If you've got an existing CRM that's a little more lightweight and now you're moving up into uh, the more kind of professional world of Salesforce, then uh, you'll likely export your data from that system into an Excel document. So again, same principles will apply and I'll show you how this gets done. Uh, there's definitely additional resources and more in-depth knowledge about how to prepare for importing your data and managing your data model uh, in the show notes here. But Spark's notes should get you there. So I, I just want to demonstrate, you know, we're on the accounts page, we deleted all the data in here, but when I create a new account in the top right, you get a look at the kinds of fields that are already associated with accounts out of the box. So again, you want to sit back and think about your business, you know, what criteria, what defining factors or features of your contacts and accounts do you want to capture in Salesforce? Don't put too much pressure on yourself. As time goes on and the business evolves and you want to track new things, you'll just create new fields and they will continue to persist and uh, it's very easy to do so. But let's get or sit back and try to identify the table stakes, you know, what's important today. Out of the box, you're going to get you know, phone number, industry, you'll have employees, uh, a website address perhaps, of course the account name. The account owner when you create an account is, is yourself. However, if you want to assign ownership of those accounts to different employees, you can totally do that as well. And I'll cover that. Um, you know, a description field, this can capture, you know, free form information about the account that you're kind of taking as ad hoc notes. Um, again, you'll be able to add fields here. When you think about your data model, you want to make sure that we add in all the fields and structure your accounts and contacts the way that you want to structure it before we go ahead and do an import. But I'll show you just before we uh, talk about creating fields, the kind of sample Excel document that you'll likely end up with. and It helps kind of visualize um, what you're working toward. So I've included this uh, sample Excel file as a template. You can try and model your data off of it. It'll be a nice easy way to import things. But as you can see here, we've got you know, our key fields. Each column is going to represent a field in the account or the contact object or for leads you know, same principles apply. Um, we will import contacts and accounts in this video. So we'll see, you know, you've got account names. Those account names line up with certain types of accounts, the industries. We've got description fields. Sometimes they're filled out, sometimes they're not. No harm uh, done if you have you know, gaps in data, but just everything that's important to that account, make sure you have it kind of played out in these rows. One important thing to know is that you're going to see account qualities here and those are going to line up with contact information. And so as you can see, um, this account, you know, UOS here, same account information but three rows and those three rows are because we want to capture three contacts for that company, the CFO, the SVP of production and the SVP of technology. So make sure that each row actually corresponds to the contact and then fill out the account information or duplicate the account information for each contact that's from that company. That's essentially going to import, um, that's going to import all of your contacts underneath a shared account because again, like we talked about in the data model, the account is the end all source of truth for all information about the way that the business is going to run. And now what I was mentioning, like you want to make sure that your import data is going to be able to be captured in the fields in Salesforce and not all fields will be out of the box created so we might have to create a few. Uh, for example in this sheet contact notes and birthdays are not out of the box fields so we're going to go ahead and create those fields before we go for an import. I'll also show you when we do the import a quick little tool uh, or a quick little 
indicator of what fields from your Excel document aren't mapping over and that you'll have to quickly uh, make before you go ahead. But let's move on to the next video, which is going to be about creating fields so that you can make sure that what you want to track in accounts, contacts, leads, and opportunities is going to be tracked off the bat. Thanks and look forward to it.